I wanted to show you this slide here. Um, uh, yeah, there's a crowdfunder uh, to replace uh, Joe Solo's prize, and it's reached ten thousand seven hundred and sixty-five pounds, uh, which is pretty impressive. As I think the target was uh, five thousand, um, and uh, the reason why that prize was being um, replaced was that we spoke about it with the guy who set up the crowdfunder, uh, Tony Booth. We spoke about it last week. Um, you won a prize from Hope Not Hate uh, that you didn't put yourself forward for, apparently. Someone else nominated you for this. Uh, you won the prize. Loads of people voted for you to, as, as for all the work that you've done. I mean, how much money have you raised uh, for food banks and local charities? People in, in yeah. need. Well, we estimate that We Shall Overcome has raised about £650,000, but I have to emphasise that that isn't me. That's us. That's no. the whole point of it. You know, I, I might have been a big gob in the middle, but it's thousands and thousands of people getting involved. It's a genuinely socialist thing. So I don't like it when people say, I did it, because I didn't. We did it. No, so, no, no, I know. No, I know. That's you. You wouldn't, you wouldn't, but I'm not saying at all that you'd blow your own trumpet. I, I'm, try, I'm trying to do it a bit. Uh, bigging up your story a bit here, I suppose, but um, you, you've re you've helped to raise with others uh, over half a million pounds, um, and people acknowledge that by voting for you in this Hope Not Hate prize, um, and you announced it that you were going to share that money that was five it was five thousand pounds prize money. You were going to share it with all these groups that you've been helping out. I saw your your Facebook post, um, and then. I got a message from someone saying, have you seen this? Uh, and it said, hope not hate have released a statement saying Joe Solo's no one, no longer won the prize because of a couple, a few social media uh, tweets that he put out. Um, and uh, we, we're going to give him training or something. Um, can you, can you tell us, I mean, that must've been so upsetting to, for you to have read that. Well, how did you feel when you read that? Well, well, gutted, obviously, because it came, it came um, along with obviously a, a, a social media hate campaign when the trolls joined in, and and um, hope not hate helped facilitate that. But a, a few things before I start down that line, if I may. One, right. thank you for running the refugee thing earlier on because it puts my problems in genuine perspective. I haven't lost my life here. I might have had a bit of reputational damage, but I, I didn't lose my life as a result of government policy. Uh, two, if Tony's listening, thank you so much, my friend. I know we've exchanged social media uh, and we've exchanged email messages, but I want to publicly thank you for what you did. It gave people something to rally around and they could support me without getting trolled. And that was a beautiful thing, so thank you. And thirdly, I don't want to attack Hope Not Hate wholly on this. They do great stuff in communities fighting the rise of the far right. The street teams, are, are put, you know, risk their lives sometimes to do that. So I just think on this issue, they've got it wrong. I felt genuinely gutted because I've got no part in putting myself on that pedestal. I was nominated by a member of the public. There was more than 300 people nominated and Hope Not Hate shortlisted me on their list of six. And then when um, the trolls started on me, um, Hope Not Hate just threw me under the bus to save their own reputation, which ironically is precisely what I didn't do to Chris Williamson, which is the person I'm accused of, of supporting. Um, I, 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 to put this in perspective, I'm going to use you actually, Crispin, because I, I, I think plenty of people will agree with me that you, you are one of the kindest, most um, selfless people I've ever met. You've done, you've done so much work for people over the years and you don't get half the credit. And yet at the moment, you're suspended from the Labour Party. Now, in Hope Not Hate World, if this precedent is set, if I support you now in public, and even if you're found not guilty and, and you're reinstated into the Labour Party, if in two months, two years, five years' time, you go on to say something remotely anti-Semitic or allegedly anti-Semitic, I can be found guilty of it because what they're practising is a policy of guilt by retrospective association. I stood by a comrade in struggle, which is what a socialist should do, and I was borne out by the legal process which found him not guilty of the accusation. And how can you condemn somebody for that? You're backdating allegations 
further down the line onto a photograph from two years before and then throwing me under the bus and allowing reputational damage. It's a really, really dangerous path to walk down. And um, I, 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 like I say, I don't want this to be about home not here. I just think on this issue, they've got it badly wrong because they're an anti-fascist organisation and what they've actually facilitated is fascistic in character because you cannot backdate blame. You cannot have this guilt by retrospective association. What sort of world are we creating if that's possible? Do you know? And I, and I think it's a really, really dangerous tap. I, I didn't give a damn about the award to begin with. I don't think awards are what um, socialists should be about. I don't like heroes. I don't like tags. I don't like pedestals. They cast a shadow over all the people who actually do the work. So I didn't want to be nominated in the first place. But having been nominated and having been put up there, the least you expect is a democratic vote to count. But then, you know, as we've seen in, in, in the political circles over the last few years, democratic votes don't really count for that much. Yeah. Well, I mean, that the, the, like you say, solidarity is almost part of your it's, it's part. It's, it's, it's like your blood, isn't it? Solidarity is what well, it, it's it, absolutely it, it, everything. If, if socialists don't have solidarity, they don't have anything. And what this does is it makes you scared of demonstrating solidarity. So it essentially takes the one thing that socialists have, which is the standing by each other. And it turns it against you. You can't, otherwise you might be accused of this. You can't stand with that person because they might go on to say something else. It is an attack on solidarity. And that is a really, really difficult place for anybody to stand. But I stand by the decision then. Um, I stood by a comrade in struggle. I'd stand by a, a comrade in struggle tomorrow and damn awards, you know? Yeah. Well, I, I, I think you, you, I mean, I can't, I mean, your tro the trolling that you were getting um, it, it is so... Oh. I can't imagine how it must have felt to get all that trolling. And and the, the words they were using as well about you must have been very un, uncomfortable for you. Um, but on this call, I think everyone is sh sending you solidarity. But um, And I'm, I'm obviously sending you solidarity. And, and uh, I think it's almost like persecution of socialists uh, that, you know, we're, we're geared up for helping each other and support backing each other. And I, that's been made into our Achilles heel. They're, they're trying to they're trying to get us on 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 what is our actual core, isn't it? It is. It's exactly that. And and I think I think we need to find a way of fighting back. We need to find a way of fighting back that that um, doesn't attack their triggers to attack us even more. We, we 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 have to we have to be smart about this. And but but we do need to do it. You, you can't have solidarity taken away from you because it's all we've got as a class. Because because there's a class issue here anyway, isn't there? Hope not hate say they offered me training, but what they actually had was a line in an email that said, if you'd like to ring us about these tweets, uh, we can talk you through what we don't like about them. So I even had to have the training at my own expense. I'm a Yorkshireman, I'm not ringing them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, no, the, the, the there's, there's a dangerous thing going on here and we, we cannot be attacked on, on, on us standing together as a class. That's all we've got. We've got solidarity and we've got keeping on, keeping on. And, and um, if, if you haven't got those, you haven't got nothing. And um, there is a class aspect here because if I was a famous person, if I, if I, was, a, if I was a politician or I, was a, or I was a famous sportsman or a music star or an actor, they wouldn't have dared put that statement out because there are legal implications in that statement. They have smeared me. They have said that I'm anti-Semitic by offering me training. And I've been advised that I'm a solicitor, but I've also been advised not to take anybody on because my life would be torn apart and it would probably hurt you and your family. So I'm not going down that line because I don't want that, you know. But can you see what I mean? I'm working class. I'm a washing machine engineer. I can't afford to clear my name. So what does that say about justice? Yeah. I, I, it's terrible, but in a way, it's it's good that we've seen what happens, and we we we're all behind you, and uh, you're not alone. Um, uh, you know, even though you're in your shed and it's freezing cold, uh, and you probably are alone in that shed, but you're not alone in in in, this, in the world of socialists. You're you're a hero, even though you're not a hero. You don't want to be a hero, but you are a hero. But it's by default, by by mistake, you're a hero. By mistake, you're here, bro. An really. accidental hero, eh? Well, uh, 
that, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll accidentally dismantle uh, that. But, but socialism is about us. And all I'm doing is reminding people of that. You know, we can all do things. All I do is incrementally make the world a better place on any given day. And everybody can do that. That's the message that we shall overcome. That should be the message of socialists everywhere. You can change it. You can fight back. You can build. And it can take the simplest of gestures to do that. You just have to not be afraid of making them.